Hello friends, I'm Jagdish Park Associate. Today's topic is Engineering Thermodynamics. So in this topic, I'll be explaining a numerical problem from the chapter First Law of Thermodynamics. So first I will read the question. 2 kg of an ideal gas is compressed adiabatically from pressure 100 kPa and temperature 220 Kelvin to a final pressure of 400 kPa. Calculate A initial volume b final volume c final temperature d work performed e heat rejected f change in internal energy take cp is equal to 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin and cv is equal to 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin so this is the question and uh, now we will analyze this question okay a 2 kg mass of gas is being compressed adiabatically which means the gas undergoes adiabatic compression process due to which the volume of the gas will be decreased the pressure of the gas will be increased the temperature of the gas will be increased the quantity of heat of the gas will be increased the important point of this adiabatic compression process is the generated heat or the amount of heat increased will not be rejected to the surroundings or the heat from the surroundings will not be added to the gas. In simple words, there will be no heat transfer. To be more precise, the heat rejection value will be 0 kJ and the heat addition value will be 0 kJ in adiabatic compression process. Okay. Now we will see some important parameters which are given in the question and the parameters are the initial pressure of the gas is 100 kilopascal that is the pressure at the beginning of adiabatic compression process is 100 kilopascal and the initial temperature is 220 Kelvin that is the temperature at the beginning of the adiabatic compression process and the final pressure value is 400 kilopascal that is the pressure value at the end of adiabatic compression process okay and they have given some they have given two important parameters and the parameters are cp and cv cp is nothing but the specific heat added during constant pressure process and cv is nothing but the specific heat added during constant volume process the cp value is 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin and cv value is 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin okay now in this question we have to find six parameters and the parameters are first one is initial volume which means we have to find the volume of the gas at the beginning of the adiabatic compression process second is final volume we have to find the uh, volume of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process third is final temperature that is we have to find the temperature value of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process fourth is work performed that is we have to find the amount of work done in compressing the gas fifth one is heat rejected that is we have to find the amount of heat rejected from the gas and finally the sixth one is change in internal energy that is we have to find the amount of internal energy is being changed during the adiabatic compression process okay so these are the six parameters which we have to find here now i will store the given conditions from the question first the mass of the gas is 2 kg and it is taken as m that is small m second the initial pressure of the gas is 100 kilopascal and it is taken as p1 third the initial temperature of the gas is 220 kelvin and it is taken as t1 fourth the final pressure of the gas is 400 kilopascal and it is taken as p2 fifth the cp value and the value is 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin sixth the cv value and the value is 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin so by using these six parameters we are going to find the six parameters in which is given in the question now i will move to the solving technique before finding the values of six parameters we will find the values of another two parameters and the and the two extra parameters are adiabatic constant and gas constant 
the values of adiabatic constant and uh, gas constant will be very useful in finding the values of the six parameters which are given in the question okay so first we will find the value of adiabatic constant and it is taken as gamma for finding the value of adiabatic constant uh, we should know the values of cp and cv cp and cv values are given in the question so just substitute the values we can easily find the value of adiabatic constant okay so first we will write down the formula of adiabatic constant and the formula is gamma is equal to cp by cv we know the values of cp and cv so just substitute the values so the next step will be gamma is equal to 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin whole divided by 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin now in this origins i am going to split the numerical terms and s units so the next step will be gamma is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.707 into kilojoule per kg kelvin whole divided by kilojoule per kg kelvin so in this orages 1 divided by 0 0.707 is 1.4 and kilojoule per kg kelvin and kilojoule per kg kelvin gets cancelled so the next step will be gamma is equal to 1.4 so the adiabatic constant for this adiabatic compression process is 1.4 now we will find the value of gas constant which is taken as r for finding the value of gas constant again we should know the values of cp and cv so by using the values of cp and cv we are going to find the value of gas constant so first we will write down the formula and the formula is r is equal to cp minus cv so we know the values of cp and cv so just substitute the values so the next step will be r is equal to 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin minus 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin so in this order just 1 kilojoule per kg kelvin minus 0 0.707 kilojoule per kg kelvin is 0 0.293 kilojoule per kg kelvin okay so the next step will be r is equal to 0 0.293 kilojoule per kg kelvin so the gas constant value for this adiabatic compression process is 0 0.293 kilojoule per kg kelvin next we will find the value of initial volume which is taken as v1 for finding the value of initial volume we will use ideal gas law and the formula for ideal gas law is pv is equal to mrt where p is pressure v is volume m is mass r is gas constant t is temperature so for finding the value of initial volume we have to modify this ideal gas law actually initial volume is is nothing but volume at state 1 so for finding the value of v1 we should write down this ideal gas law according to state 1 that is we have to apply ideal gas law on state 1 so by applying ideal gas law on state 1 we get p1 v1 is equal to m or t1 we know the where p1 is initial pressure v1 is initial volume m is mass r is gas constant and t1 is uh, initial temperature so in this formula we know the values of p1 m r and t1 so just substitute the values so we can easily find the value of v1 okay so we will substitute the values so the next step will be 100 kilopascal into v1 is equal to 2 kg into 0 0.293 kilojoule per kg kelvin into 220 kelvin now in this orages i am going to split the numerical terms and s units so the next step will be 100 kilopascal into v1 is equal to 2 into 0 0.293 into 220 into kg into kilojoule per kg kelvin into kelvin so in this origin 2 into 0 0.293 into 220 is 128.92 and kg into kilojoule per kg kelvin into kelvin is kilojoule because because kg kg gets cancelled and kelvin kelvin gets cancelled so the next step will be 100 kilopascal into v1 is equal to 128.92 kilojoule okay now in this lhs i am going to bring this 100 kilopascal to the origins so the next step will be v1 is equal to 128.92 kilojoule whole divided by 100 kilopascal now in this uh, in this rhs i am going to split the numerical terms and s units so the next step will be v1 is equal to 128.92 divided by 100 into kilojoule per kilopascal 
So in this RHS, 128.92 divided by 100 is 1.28. So the next step will be V1 is equal to 1.28 kilojoule per kilopascal. Now in this RHS, I am going to make a substitution for this kilojoule per kilopascal. We know that kilojoule per kilopascal is meter cube. And the SO unit of volume is also meter cube. So now I am going to replace this kilojoule per kilopascal by meter cube. So the next step will be V1 is equal to 1.28 meter cube. Which means the volume of the gas at the beginning of adiabatic compression process is 1.28 meter cube. Now we will find the value of final volume that is the volume of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process and take it as V2. Okay. For finding the value of V2, we will use the formula of adiabatic process and the formula is P1 V1 to the power of gamma is equal to P2 V2 to the power of gamma. So in this formula, we know the values of P1 V1 gamma and P2. Okay. So just substitute the values. We get 100 kilopascal into 1.28 meter cube whole to the power of 1.4 is equal to 400 kilopascal into V2 to the V2 to the power of 1.4. So in this LHS, 1.28 meter cube to the power of 1.4 is 1.4128 meter cube. So the next step will be 100 kilopascal into 1.4128 meter cube is equal to 400 kilopascal into V2 to the power of 1.4. Now in this LHS, I am going to split the numerical terms and this unit. So the next step will be 100 into 1.4128 into kilopascal into meter cube is equal to 400 kilopascal into V2 to the power of 1.4. So in this RHS, 100 into 1.4128 is 141.28. So the next step will be 141.28 into kilopascal into meter cube is equal to 400 kilopascal into V2 to the power of 1.4. Now in this RHS, I am going to bring this 400 kilopascal to the LHS. So the next step will be V2 to the power of 1.4 is equal to 141.28 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by 400 kilopascal. So in this RHS, 141.28 divided by 400 is 0 0.3532 and kilopascal into meter cube divided by kilopascal is meter cube because kilopascal, kilopascal gets cancelled. So the next step will be V2 to the power of 1.4 is equal to 0 0.3532 meter cube. Now in this LHS, I am going to bring this power term 1.4 to the RHS. We get v2 is equal to 0 0.3532 meter cube whole to the power of 1, 1 divided by 1.4 so in this origin 0 0.3532 meter cube to the power of 1 divided by 1.4 is 0 0.475 meter cube so the next step will be v2 is equal to 0 0.475 meter cube which means the volume of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process is 0 0.475 meter cube. Okay. Now we will find the value of final temperature. That is the temperature value of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process and take it as T2. Now for finding the value of T2, again we will use the formula of ideal gas law. This T2 is nothing but the temperature value at state 2. So we have to apply ideal gas law on state 2. And the formula for ideal gas law on state 2 is P2 V2 is equal to MR T2. Where P2 is final pressure, V2 is final volume, M is mass, R is gas constant, T2 is final temperature. So in this formula, we know the values of P2, V2, M and R. So just substitute the values. So we can easily find the value of T2. Okay. So the next step will be 400 kilopascal into 0 0.475 meter cube is equal to 2 kg into 0 0.293 kilojoule per kg Kelvin into T2. Now, in this LHS and RHS, I am going to split the numerical terms and S units. So, the next step will be 400 into 0 0.475 into kilopascal into meter cube is equal to 2 into 0 0.293 into T2 into kg into kilojoule per kg Kelvin. In this LHS, 400 into 0 0.475 is 190. 
and in this RHS 2 into 0 0.293 into T2 is 0 0.586 into T2 and kg into kilojoule per kg kelvin is kilojoule per kelvin because kg kg gets cancelled so the next step will be 190 into kilopascal into meter cube is equal to 0 0.586 into t2 into kilojoule per kelvin now in this RHS I am going to bring 0 0.586 and kilojoule per kelvin to the LHS we get t2 is equal to 190 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by 0 0.586 kilojoule per kelvin now in this RHS I am going to split the numerical terms and S units so the next step will be T2 is equal to 190 divided by 0 0.586 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by kilojoule per kelvin so in this RHS 190 divided by 0 0.586 is 324.23 so the next step will be T2 is equal to 324.23 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by kilojoule per kelvin okay now in this origin I am going to simplify this SA units okay for that I am going to use algebraic formula and the formula and the formula is A whole divided by B by C is A into C whole divided by B so similarly kilopascal into meter cube divided by kilojoule per Kelvin is kilopascal into meter cube into Kelvin whole divided by kilojoule because kilopascal into meter cube is A and kilojoule per Kelvin is B by C so obviously kilopascal into meter cube divided by kilojoule per Kelvin will be kilopascal into meter cube into Kelvin whole divided by kilojoule okay so the next step will be T2 is equal to 324.23 into kilopascal into meter cube into Kelvin whole divided by kilojoule okay now in this RHS I am going to substitute for kilopascal into meter cube and the substitution is kilojoule because kilopascal into meter cube is kilojoule so now I am going to replace this kilopascal into meter cube by kilojoule so the next step will be T2 is equal to 324.23 into kilojoule into Kelvin whole divided by kilojoule now in this RHS kilojoule kilojoule gets cancelled so the next step will be T2 is equal to 324.23 Kelvin which means the temperature value of the gas at the end of adiabatic compression process is 324.23 Kelvin okay now we will find the value of work performed and take it as delta W which means amount of work done in compressing the gas adiabatically okay so for finding the value of delta W we will use the formula of work done during adiabatic process and the formula is delta W is equal to P1 V1 minus P2 V2 whole divided by gamma minus 1 so in this formula we know the values of P1 V1 P2 V2 and gamma so we can easily find the value of delta W so substitute the values we get delta W is equal to 100 kilopascal into 1.28 meter cube minus 400 kilopascal into 0.475 meter cube whole divided by 1.4 minus 1 now in this RHS I am going to split the numerical terms and SA units in the numerator and in the denominator 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.4 so the next step will be delta W is equal to 100 into 1.28 into kilopascal into meter cube minus 400 into 0 0.475 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by 0 0.4 so in this origin 100 into 1.28 is 128 and 400 into 0 0.475 is 190 so the next step will be delta W is equal to 128 into kilopascal into meter cube minus 190 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by 0 0.4 so in this RHS 128 kilopascal into meter cube minus 190 kilo into kilopascal into meter cube is minus 62 into kilopascal into meter cube so the next step will be delta w is equal to minus 62 into kilopascal into meter cube whole divided by 0 0.4 so in this origin minus 62 divided by 0 0.4 is 155 that is minus 155 so the next step will be delta w is equal to minus 155 into kilopascal into meter cube 
now i'm going to make a substitution for this kilopascal into meter cube we know that kilopascal into meter cube is kilojoule so i'm going to replace this kilopascal into meter cube by kilojoule so the next step will be delta w is equal to minus 155 kilojoule which means the amount of work done in compressing the gas during the adiabatic compression process is minus 155 kilojoule okay now we will find the value of heat rejected that is amount of heat rejected during adiabatic compression process as i said earlier in adiabatic process generally in adiabatic process whether it is a adiabatic expansion process or adiabatic compression process there will be no heat transfer to be precise there will be no heat rejection or heat addition technically the heat addition value is 0 kilojoule and heat rejection value is 0 kilojoule so therefore here um, the process is adiabatic compression process so obviously the heat rejected value will be 0 kilojoule okay so delta q so we can directly write down that um, delta q is equal to 0 kilojoule which means the amount of heat rejected during the adiabatic compression process is 0 kilojoule okay now we will find the value of change in internal energy and take it as delta u so for finding the value of change in internal energy we will use the formula of first law of thermodynamics of closed system and the formula is delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w so in this formula we know the values of delta q and delta w so we can easily find the value of delta u so substitute the values or uh, substitute the values of delta q and delta u i mean substitute the values of delta q and delta w so the next step will be 0 kilojoule is equal to delta u plus of minus 155 kilojoule in this RHS plus of minus is minus so the next step will be 0 kilojoule is equal to delta u minus 155 kilojoule now in this RHS bring this minus 155 kilojoule to the LHS we get delta u is equal to 0 kilojoule plus 155 kilojoule so here 0 kilojoule plus 155 kilojoule is 155 kilojoule so the next step will be delta u is equal to 155 kilojoule which means the amount of change in internal energy in the adiabatic compression process is 155 kilojoule so friends we have calculated and founded the solutions for the six parameters now it's time to list out the solutions okay so first one is initial volume and the value is 1.28 meter cube second one is final volume and the value is 0.475 meter cube third is final temperature and the value is 324.23 kelvin fourth is work performed and the value is minus 155 kilojoule fifth is heat rejected and the value is zero kilojoule sixth is change in internal energy and the value is 155 kilojoule okay so friends i hope you all would have understood this problem if any doubts are there please do comment in comment box and remember to like share and comment on our videos and also don't forget to subscribe our channel the mechanical engineers theme thank you friends